Oh yes, you're not dreaming. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I'm your host as always, Donald Hunter, aka the expert, and we're playing Pokemon Omega Red. It says Fire Red, but it's Omega Red. Oh yeah, this ain't no Nuzlocke run, but oh my, it's gonna get crazy. And yes, I'm getting rid of my continue that has 68 Pokemon, and I've almost been playing it for, what, is, is that hours? Is that hours or minutes? I'm guessing that's hours. Yeah, I played for 41 hours. Bite me. It's a new game. I'm feeling pumped. It's Pokemon Omega Red. It's so much harder than the rest. Let's do it! Oh yeah, well, this is just for button layouts, blah, I understand it all. Here we go. This is an introduction to Fire Red Omega Hack, if you have not seen it before. Welcome to a Fire Red Omega Hack! An edit of Pokemon Fire Red that incorporates all 386 Pokemon of the third generation. Fire Red Omega was revamped, well, has revamped wild Pokemon, trainer battles, and even added in a few new areas. There have been many changes overall. Stuff like level up moves and stats have also been edited, in the name of making the usage of different Pokemon much easier than previous. Evolution methods have been edited so that all Pokemon can be involved in the game alone. You get the national decks early too, with the normal Pokedex. I hope you enjoy the new, hopefully challenging fights that await you in the edit. If you got it with a patch, use the notepad enclosed for the patch to find out the escape dip dip and die rano, you're amazing! Or Dryano. Dreano. Uh, I'm, I'm screwing this up. Let's go! Pokemon Adventure Time! Woo! It's gonna be epic. It's Oki! It's Professor Oak. We all love him. Well, hi there! I'm so glad to meet you, laddie. I sound like Sean Connery because I like quoting my S from an H. But welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak, but you can just call me Oki. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor, mainly because I like to fuck them up the ass with my fingers. And this land is inhabited far and wide by creatures known as Pokemon. It's tough to say that, even though I am the Professor of the species, isn't it? I mean, for some strange reason, I'm known as a Professor of Pokemon, yet I s just keep loving to stick my fingers up people's asses. I don't know what it is, it's just me. Deal with it. Now, as you can see, I study Pokemon as a profession, because while I'm not sticking fingers up people's asses, I actually like them. Can you believe it? Yes. But first, tell me a little about yourself, laddie. Well, are you a boy or a girl? Because I clearly cannot look at you, even though I'm looking at you square in the face. Ah, I see. You're a boy. Well, let's begin with your name. What is it? Even though you've probably told me a million friggin' times right now. Okay, so, I'm only going to be using that accent on Professor Oak when Professor Oak speaks. I'm not going to use it a lot. You know what, I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong, guys! It's fine. Because obviously, in Pokemon, I have to name myself appropriately. So I'm going to be Exploder! This is awesome. Throughout this series, by the way, I will be asking you guys to name that Pokemon! Meaning, whenever I catch a new Pokemon, it is up to you guys to nickname it on my behalf. So, whenever you see me catch a new Pokemon, put down in the comments below what you want the nickname to be for that Pokemon. Be sure to tell me what Pokemon that you're on about. The only Pokemon I will naturally nickname is probably Charmander. Or whatever starter Pokemon I go for. I might not go for Charmander. We'll see! Anyway, my name is Exploder. Right, laddie, so your name is Exploder, is it? Hmm, explosive diarrhea. Haha, <laughs> this is my grandson. He looks like an absolute twat with his spiky hair and golden good looks. But you know what? I shoved my finger up his ass when he was just a baby. And now look at him. He's a fine young man. But however, I keep on forgetting his name. Now, I was thinking for a long time, actually, before I even started doing this LP. What would I call a worthy rival? A rival so dastardly. So evil, so painstakingly badass, that his name basically shrieks of badassness. That's right. It's everyone's favourite evildoer. It's Bob! Ah, uh, what was it Bob actually? 
Yes, my grandson is known as Bob. Ah, I remember naming him well. Oki and Bob. That's what we call ourselves. Now, Exploder, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. Up your ass. So before I stick my fingers up you, you better get on your way. And here we are, in our lovely home. And everything is nice. And organized, thanks to mum. Here's my PC looking very fancy. And my SNES just lying on the floor. And now I'll go down the stairs. Say nothing to my lovely mum. As I will leave. Okay, I'm not going to sing all the time, but that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? But yes, this is Pallet Town. If you've played Pokemon before, well, you know where we are already. But damn, I'm gonna love this LP. I'm like, Pokemon Red was the first game I ever played. Obviously, when Fire Red came out, I got Fire Red and I loved that. The Omega Red hack, it's amazing. So hopefully, I can convince you guys to check it out. Hey, wait, laddie! Don't go outside! <gasps> oh! Thank God I caught you, laddie. I had my finger halfway up someone's ass, but I saw you outside my window. Thank God I stopped you before you went. Ah, but you need your own Pokemon for your own protection if you're going out of the woods, laddie. Come with me. I can hook you up big time. Ah, oh, thanks, Oak. Or Oki, as I will sometimes call him during this LP. I don't know why I went with the whole uh, Sean Connery accent, but it'll probably come out why later. Hey, Gramps! I've been up and waiting! Oh, Bob, why do you sound like an absolute twat? Oh, there, that's right, because I fucked your mother last night. <laughs> Here, Exploder, there are three Pokemon on this table. <laughs> Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. I like balls. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer before I became a professor of ass. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose it. Hey, but Gramps, that's no fear. What about me and my shiny hair, man? That ain't right. Hey, be patient, Bob. You can have one, too. You snobby little twat. It's because I stuck my finger up here. Okay, I'm not gonna stop it there. Okay, so start a Pokemon. I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been contemplating it, because in Fire Red Omega, the starter Pokemon have been mixed up. Because instead of having the normal three, which would be Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur, we actually have Magby, Ooh. Smoochum, Ooh. or Elekid. Now, in my last run, I chose Elekid. Hmm. I've been thinking through this a lot, and I wasn't going to go with Elekid this time round, because I generally wanted to try out one of the others. I thought about it. Sm it's not that I hate Smoochum, it's just that, well, I don't like how Smoochum looks. So, Magby it is, because Magmar is just the boss of everything. Come on, Magby. Ha, ah, this Pokemon is really quite energetic. Yeah, we received Magby, first Pokemon. And of course, the first Pokemon is the nickname. Oh, yes. Plus, by the way, if you would like for me to catch any specific Pokemon in the future, let me know down below, because I, I wouldn't mind seeing how far I can go with this LP, and I'll make it even more challenging by letting you guys decide a few things, so come on, let's do it! Anyway, what am I going to call Magby? Well, he ends up turning into Magmar. I think I'm just going to call him this. Now, you guys that are massive gamers out there will no understand this when I name him. Oh yeah, I've named him Larvos. Deal with it. Because Larvos is awesome. Now, for some strange reason, Bob will choose what he thinks is the opposite, which in this case is Elekid. Last time I checked, I don't think Magby is flying, but let me just check. Nope, he's just fire, so I don't see how that's the weakness. I would think Smoochum would be the weakness, but okay, whatever. Okay, you know what time it is. It's battle time! Hey, wait, Exploder, let's check out our Pokemon power! Yeah, I'm gonna kick your ass around the face! Here we go. Exploder versus Bob, man versus man, gold versus hat. 
Oh, it's on. Elekid versus Larvos. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. It's because I stuck my fingers up your ass. Now, Exploder, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers pick my Pokemon against one another. If a trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you learn from me just sticking my fingers up your Pokemon's ass after the battle is done. So try battling and see for yourself how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Oki. Right, let's do this. Larvos, what have we got? Scratch and Leer. Standard. Scratch him! Cross the face up. Oh, he knows Quick Attack! I forgot he knew Quick Attack. Oops, you see, inflicting damage on the foe is the key to any battle. Yeah, oh, thanks, okay. It's like I didn't know this. Okay, keep scratching it. Stop using Quick Attack! Oh, Flame Body, Mother Hubbard! Yeah, this Flame Body's awesome because now you burn! You're gonna burn! Stop it! Use your other move if you have one, I can't remember. Quit! Take it, bitch! Oh! 112 on Larvos. Level 6. Ho oh. ho! And he knows Ember. Straight off the bat. Oh, Bob can suck my cock. Wait, that's unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon, Grandpa! <laughs> that was excellent, laddie. As for you, Bob, I'm gonna stick my fingers up your ass for some good measure. I swear. Now, if you keep winning, you will earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle lover trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Ha <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make my Pokemon battle toughen them up. Exporter, Gramps, I'll spare it all later. Yeah! 